standing here a while debating on what I wanted to say. I mean, a view like this, it's honestly hard to come up with anything to say. This is actually one of the most beautiful things I have ever laid my eyes on. And it's here in my home state in a place I've been to before, but I've never been to this spot during this time of day, during a snow, and it's absolutely incredible. And really, I, I think what I wanna say is, this is why I became a Norse pagan. It's simply because when I was starting to get involved in nature and hiking, I mean, my family never was really into that. I mean, many of you know that I come from a Baptist background. I was raised in suburbia and had a pretty normal and boring childhood. Our idea of a family vacation was Gatlinburg and Myrtle Beach, and we only drove up to the overlooks, took the picture, and got back in the car and drove away. We ever ne never actually explored anything. And so when I became an adult and moved on to my own, and finally got interested in hiking and all of this stuff, I started to have these religious experiences, I feel like, in a way, where I would come to places like this, and I'm like, how, what, what religion is this, <laughs> you know? Uh, what can I connect with? What can I, I worship and praise? Because this isn't all just God. I always found that so limiting, looking at the beauty of this natural world and thinking, oh, that's just God. No, there's so much here. The beauty of the mountains, the spirits of the mountains, the spirits of the rivers, of the trees. I mean, right here in front of me is a massive land bridge that is so beautiful and amazing and unique. Here is a view of a valley, of a gorge, of a canyon, probably the most beautiful canyon outside of the Grand Canyon. And, you know, and then there's this rock formation thing in the distance. What gods are connected to this? What and spirits are connected to this are the questions I started asking myself and then I started going down those paths and looking into you know Buddhism for a while and Buddhism makes me feel connected because it's kind of animistic um, in the sense of the, the godliness and everything connecting to who you are to the higher realms meditation and all those things and that still wasn't doing it for me it wasn't giving me that that extra you know that handshake to the next world to what all this was and then I found paganism, and I found the gods, the Nordic gods, and everything started clicking for me. And I think a lot of people look at an American, look at a Kentuckian, and think, how did you find the Norse gods? I mean, I know I've had people from Scandinavia comment and say, you know, oh, you're not allowed to worship these gods, you're not from Scandinavia. And honestly, ancestry was never that big of a part of what I got into. I mean, ancestors are important, and it's something that I've gotten into now, is honoring and venerating the ancestors that got me here, that have allowed me the privilege to look at something like this with my eyes when their lives were so hard. One of the big components to why I think Norse paganism makes sense is, I mean, I, I don't really know if I have Scandinavian heritage. I mean, I'm most likely Irish and Scottish and Germanic. I know that's in there somewhere, but I really don't know about the Scandinavian. Could be. I haven't really ever sought that out. But what I know, what I know is that the Scandinavian people, the Scandinavian ancestors, the Nordic ancestors, the people that existed thousands of years ago in those lands, had an amazing understanding of how all of this works. The things that they name them, the way they see them happen, the, where, the relationship to all of this, what we know from the past and their relationship with the natural world, all makes sense to me and all makes sense to how I view the world too. And so... When I'm saying, oh, I'm hailing Odin, I'm honoring those ancestors at the same time, even if I might not actually be Scandinavian. You know, I'm saying, hey, they saw the world in an amazing way. And I want to share that. I want to share in that experience. And so when I look at these mountains and I look at this valley and I'm thinking about the gods and I'm thinking about the land of Vitir, you know, I think I'm viewing it in a way, the way I see it is I'm viewing it in a way that they viewed it as well. It makes sense to me. So that's why I'm a Norse pagan, because... The way that the Nordic ancestors viewed the world is the same way that I'm viewing the world today. And it all makes sense to me. And if you actually look into it, the Appalachian Mountain Range at one point in human history, well, not human history, world history, was connected to the mountains that are in Scandinavia. That's pretty amazing and interesting. And these mountains are so old. They're some of the oldest mountains in the world. And there's something here. So the reason I became a Norse pagan is because of this, because of this magic. I mean, there's magic and everything here. And then the moment I started looking into shamanism, the moment I started looking into, I mean, even like psychedelic drugs, all right? You know, even mushrooms, all that really does, all this people experience with that is an opening of their spiritual senses that allow them to see the natural world. And you can get that without drugs. You can get that without psychedelics. 
And honestly, I think you can get that with the religion that Norse paganism is. And there's so much bullshit around it. And there's so much complication uh, and honestly drama and all this stuff. And then I come to places like this and I look out at valleys like this. I'm like, this is why I do this. This is why I'm a pagan. And so that's what this video is. Simply telling you, why am I a Norse pagan? It's because of beauty in the world, because of the magic, because of these trees, because there's a spirit in this rock, because there's a spirit in that river, because there's a God in that sky. There's a God in the earth. The ancestors are deep down. That's why I'm a Norse pagan. And if this is something you're interested in, if this is something you're interested in getting more connected to, you're in the right spot. The Wisdom of Odin has just been my journey. It's from nearly the very beginning when I first stepped out and started talking about the gods, started talking about my experiences. There's videos on here talking about, you know, the, the straight facts. I mean, that's what I'm out here doing today, too. I was earlier just filming about the Norse god Heimdall, filming about an old story um, that was forgotten about. There's so much... So many little things that you can you can scrape up. I'm over here talking about these old Norse stories. But at the end of the day, it's about this. It's about the spiritual connection we have with the world we live in. And it's absolutely beautiful. And I do hope that it's something that interests you. And I do hope it's something that you want to explore. And once you see, once you get people together, once you actually sit around a fire and talk about all these experiences with other people, it all starts coming together. That this is what it is to be human. To live in unity with this. And to share that with others. Is this not what religion should be.